what is the compound interest on rupees 7 lakh for 3 years if the rate of interest is 5% for first year, 8% for second year and 12% for third year, right? So he's asking us to find out the compound interest on rupees 7 lakh. So this is the principal amount for 3 years, that's the time period, right? If the rate of interest is 5% for first year, 8% for second year and 12% for third year. So P, T, R, all the three variables are given to you. All you have to do is do the compound interest calculation. Now you can follow the concept of uh, percentages that we have discussed, right? You know that compound interest can be calculated using effective percentage, right? Compound interest here is going to be the effective uh, percentage of all the three values. What are the three values? 5, 7, sorry, 5, 8 and 12, 5, 8 and 12. Do the effective percentage calculation. That percentage on the principal amount will give you the answer. You know what is effective percentage, right? Effective percentage, effective percentage is equal to A plus B plus AB by 100. A plus B plus AB by 100. Yeah. So, so let's do the calculation. You can choose values in any order. Let's, let's take 5 and 12 first. So what happens? 5 plus 12 plus 5 into 12 by 100. So 5 plus 12 is 17, 5 into 12 is 60, 60 by 100 is 0.6. So 17 plus 0 0.6, 17 point six percentage, right? I'm doing the effective of 5 and 12. You don't have to write all these steps in the exam. Just for the sake of clear explanation, I'm doing it. So we've got 17.6. So basically 5 and 12 can now be neglected. We have got 17.6 percentage. Now you have to take the effective of 17.6 percentage along with 8. What's the formula? Same formula, A plus B plus AB by 100. So 17.6 plus 8 plus 17.6 into 8 upon 100. Now see this calculation has to be done. If you say I can't do this calculation, it's complex, then try the formula. Formula is even complex, even more complex, right? You have to use P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of T minus P. Or rather in this case, you have to use P into 1 plus R1 by 100 into 1 plus R2 by 100 into 1 plus R3 by 100 minus P. You can try the formula. Formula are available to all of you. But this definitely is a better way in my view, right? I mean, these are the only two steps. Find out the overall percentage, then take that percentage on 7 lakh. You will get the answer. So anyway, the effective of 17.6 and 8 is going to be 17.6 plus 8 plus 17.6 into 8 by 100. Now do this calculation. 17.6 uh, into 8 or basically 176 into 8. Multiply this. 176 into 8. You are able to follow. Don't uh, get confused. 17.6 plus 8 is 25.6. That's very easy. How do you do this is the question mark here. Yeah. So 17.6 into 8, then divide by 100. So 17 into 8 plus 0.6 into 8. What is 17 into 8? That's going to be uh, 136, right? 10 into 8, 80. 7 into 8, 56. 80 plus 56, 136. 0.6 into 8. See, so 6 into 8 is 48. 0.6 into 8 is 4.8. So this is going to be 136 plus 4.8. 140.8. 140.8 by 100. You're getting the point? 17.6 into 8. 80 plus 56, 136, plus 4.8, 140.8. So this is 140.8. That divided by 100 will be 1.408. So overall it's going to be 17.6 plus 8 plus 1.408. Simplify. 17.6 plus 8 is 25.6. 25.6 and 1.4. 25.6 and 1.4 is 27. 27.008 percentage actually. That's the exact calculation. You're able to follow. So this is the compound interest. This is the total compound interest. 27.008 percentage. 27.008 percentage. Of what? 27.008 percentage of what? The principal amount. So your final answer, the compound interest is going to be, let's say we are doing an approximate calculation. I mean options if you observe, we can easily do an approximate calculation, right? I mean 1,63,000, 1,89,000, 1,94,000, 2,1,000, there's a huge difference. Of course, with the option, none of this is there. And when none of this is available in the options, you can't take chances. But uh, I mean, do the calculation, full calculation. If you don't want to take a risk, you have to do the full calculation. So let me do an approximate calculation. 27% of, what is that? 7 lakhs. 27% of 7 lakhs. What is 10% of 7 lakhs? 70,000. What will be 20%? 140,000. What will be 30%? See, 27% percent is like 30% percent minus 3%. Percent. Easy calculation, right? 27 is not 27. 27 is 30 minus 3. So 30 percentage of 7 lakhs is 2.1 lakhs. 3 percentage is 21,000. So 2 lakhs, 
10,000 minus 21,000 is 189,000. It is 1.89 lakhs. 1 lakh 89,000. Clearly option A, option C and option D are ruled out. Because 27 and 27.008, there's hardly a difference. Very, very small difference. So 1.89 lakhs is for sure. 1.89 lakhs, see, 1 lakh 89,000. It will be definitely more. The exact answer will be a little more than 1 lakh 89,000 because actual value is 27.008. And then if you see 0 0.008 percentage, I mean, if you want to do a precise calculation, this is 0 0.008 percentage, right? 0 0.008 percentage of what? 7 lakhs. So this is like 0 0.008 divided by 100 into 7 into 1 lakh. So these two zeros will get cancelled. And this decimal and these three zeros will get cancelled. So what are we left with? 8 into 7, 56. So if you want a precise answer, it is 56 plus 1.89 lakhs, which is 1 lakh 89,056, option B. Right? So option B is the final answer. Please do not go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that I've put on paper. Right? If you, if you observe, many of these steps can be avoided. I mean, these are redundant steps. Some of these are very, uh, only for the sake of explanation. Like whatever I've written here, CI equals to this part or effective percentage formula, not required. Or effective of 5 and 12, not required. Effective of 17 and 6.8, 70.698, not required. Just play with the numbers. This calculation, and then this calculation, and then this calculation. I think these are the only three steps. You don't have to write on paper, right? I mean, you know that 0 0.008 percentage of 7 lakhs is gonna be 56. So don't waste your time putting steps on paper. The more you write on paper, the more time it takes. Okay, so I think, it's a it's a 45 second problem. It wouldn't take more than 45 seconds. Option B, 1,89,056 is the final answer.